We're taking a closer look at the cost of this storm and tracking the use of an expensive tool in keeping the roads clear, road salt. And we asked Target 12 investigator Tim White to get the cost to taxpayers. He continues our severe weather team coverage with what he's found. State highway officials tell us the colder it gets, the less effective road salt is, which means they have to use more to keep the roads safe. Road salt, or technically sodium chloride, is used to lower the freezing point of water to prevent ice from forming on the roads. Because it can be the most expensive part of our whole operation. But highway officials tell us when temperatures dip below 15 degrees, the salt becomes less effective. What we do is we have to increase our application rates or the, the frequency of our applications across the state. Since 2009, the state has spent $28.3 million on 413,000 tons of salt to treat the roads, according to records. State officials say they are using less thanks to increased efficiency. The good news is the cost of salt has been on the decline in the past five years. Records show taxpayers paid $81 a ton in 2009. In 2013, the cost was $56 a ton. No, right now it has been a pretty tame winter. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung says his city has spent only 17% of the $635,000 they budgeted for this season, but storms like this, which hang around for days, can drive up over time. You're being judicious because it is going to be a long-lasting storm. And even now, many of the guys work the full day, so we're going to send them home, keep some around, call them back when the storm intensifies. Most cities and towns get the same price on salt as the state because they buy it in bulk. With Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.